Hey guys, Lego Beef here, and right now I'm going to be doing a TNA Genesis 2013 review and fucking awesome show. This show was great. So I'm going to cut right to it. Uh, we have Joey Ryan and Matt Morgan versus Christopher Dan versus, I'm sorry, versus Chavo Grill and Hernandez. This match was okay. I mean, they got to give the titles up from Chavo and Hernandez. They've held for like, what, five months now? But... I mean, Chavo and Hernandez have always proved to be fails as tag team champions. They've been in not bad matches, but yeah. So I'll give this match a three out of five. I'm just being generous there. And we have Samoa Joe versus Mr. Anderson. And this match was the same as the last tag match. Decent. I like this match. It was probably one of my favorite ones of the night. I mean, it was great seeing Samoa Joe beat the shit out of Mr. Anderson. And I really don't think they should've, he should have lost. He should have fucking lost this match. I mean, whatever. So Mr. Anderson his reverse STO, and that's just how he won. So lame finish. It's finisher or whatever. Then we have Christian York versus Kenny Keane. And holy shit, this match was awesome. I mean, I love Christian York. He's one of my favorite TNA wrestlers. Christian York is great. I mean, uh, I mean, Christian York won the match. Uh, yeah, so Christian York won. And then Kenny Keane hit him up from behind. With some move, I forgot what it's called. Then Rob Van Dam came on and he said, York, we don't have to do this now. We can do it on another impact. And York just punched Rob Van Dam and it's on. So then Rob Van Dam did Rolling Thunder. They fought for a minute. Then he hit the five-star shot slash. There goes your opportunity, Christian York. Good job. Good job. You really, you really did a great job. Yeah, yeah, you did great. He fucking lost. I should punch you. Then we have <laughs> Devon versus Joseph Park, and this match was fucking pointless. I mean, I like Joseph Park, but the man oh, stutters yeah. every time he speaks. He's like, you know, I I would really like to th th thank the the TNA fans, and I'm standing. He stutters like all the fucking time. I like Joseph Park, but he stutters way too fucking much. He sweats as he's talking to Hulk Hogan on the last impact. He was sweating. I mean, who does that? And Devon won with a roll-up cover or something special. <laughs> then we have Gail Kim versus Miss Tessmacher versus ODB versus Mickey James versus Velvet Sky. Man, this match was a hot-ass match. I mean, we as men... Not like the YWC motherfuckers out there. We can we tend to care more how our divas look than how they wrestle. I and mean, if they can wrestle a good match, and that's an added bonus. But really, we don't. We care more about how they look. So Gail Kim survived all the way up to the final round, and Velvet Sky pinned her with her face crusher. <laughs> Great ass fucking match, you guys. I mean, this was a great match. It, it was a hot match. You guys see more test mocker ass. Ha ha ha. Okay, so then we have Christopher Daniels versus James Storm. And this match was decent, too. I mean, Christopher Daniels won with the cheap finish. Kazarian distracted James Storm. James Storm hit the last call super kick. And Christopher Daniels hit his finish. So this match was actually pretty good. I enjoyed it. Then we have Doc versus Dean. Now, this match was pretty good, but it was fucking short as hell. I mean, when you compare, I mean, this match was great. It was a good match, but it was fucking short as hell. All those Dean did to win was hit a Stinger Splash on the back of Doc in his Scorpion Killer thing or something like that. So, it was a good match. Too short, though. Then we have the main event. <laughs> Jeff Hardy versus Bobby Roode versus Austin Aries. And holy shit, the TNA <laughs> tops WWE again. Jeff Hardy retained his championship, and I have never been more happy in my whole goddamn life. Austin Aries and Bobby Roode were great. I mean, Austin Aries and Jeff Hardy both pinned Bobby Roode. They both did a roll of cover on them at the same time. Then Jeff Hardy hit his swan time and Pin off nerds. What a fucking great pay per view here. When you look at the WWE's pay per views, when you look at TLC, 
Sure, there were a few good matches, but the rest of the card was just fucking horrible. So that's my impact review. Oh.